You are watching Time Warner Cable's Local Edition, and this is the Sacramento Report. Hello, everybody. I'm Jaime Garza. Joining me today is Assemblyman Roger Nilo of Sacramento, and, of course, the big topic, the budget. Everybody wondering when we're going to get the budget solved and where the problem lies. Where, where do you stand in all of this? It's the never-ending story, Jaime. <laughs> uh, there hasn't been a month in the last uh, two and a half years that uh, it hasn't been top-of-the-mind topic uh, for me. And uh, right now, uh, in addition with very difficult budget challenges and a structural deficit that we've dealt with most of this decade, we have an economy that just collapsed and significantly compounded our challenges. And right now, after having solved a $42 billion problem a few months ago, we have about a $25 billion gap for this budget year uh, that we need to plug. We keep hearing about, uh, you know, uh, from taxpayers saying, what's going on in Sacramento? Why don't they run Sacramento like a business? If I have to pay my taxes, I have to pay my bills, why can't the lawmakers in Sacramento do the very same thing? What are we facing? Well, on issues like that, certainly uh, we need more business discipline in government. And I, I think we would profit by more elected officials with a business background. Not all of us, but, <laughs> but, but more of us. Um, we need the discipline. But government isn't the same as a business. Uh, government exists uh, to provide services with the resources that are provided by uh, the, the broader public. Businesses exist to make money by providing services who choose to purchase them. So. Um, the missions are fundamentally different, but certainly uh, business discipline, uh, business control uh, would go a, a long way toward uh, helping govern government to work better. You and I were talking a little bit about solutions. I mean, uh, we're, we're hearing things about possible uh, tax hikes, uh, cuts across the board, safety net programs. Uh, your suggestion is we need to look to the private sector to try to solve some of these problems, correct? Well, we always do. Um, the, the private sector really is the key to our recovery uh, because uh, that's the economy. Uh, we're not going to come out of this until the economy recovers, and government is not going to drive fundamentally drive that recovery. Also, the private sector provides a lot of uh, services to people. Look. We're going to solve this budget in very difficult ways. Uh, uh, all of our solutions are going to be unpalatable to Republicans and Democrats alike, and, and we're going to upset a lot of people. But we have to do it. We have to make the tough decisions. But in the 150 hours of the conference committee that I sat through, I kept hearing uh, this uh, sort of hand-wringing, if you will, gosh, if the government doesn't do it, it's not going to get done. And that's just false. We have a rich infrastructure here of community-based uh, uh, organizations that provide services uh, to people. We are the most generous charitable giving population uh, in the entire world, uh, magnitudes above uh, what any other country does. And uh, uh, with uh, private sector organizations that are charitable-minded, um, there are lots of things that can continue to supplement uh, services that are currently provided by government. Let's talk about specifics. Uh, you say you, you visited one such uh, charitable organization. Uh, well, the Stride Center is at, and I didn't visit it, but I was at a conference where uh, the CEO of that organization was there. And, and uh, I would have guessed that it was a CalWORKs a welfare to work government program, but it wasn't. Um, they are essentially a trade school, uh, and they provide uh, job training for uh, computer-based companies uh, that they are associated with, but they target disadvantaged neighborhoods and disadvantaged uh, individuals and bring them in. They give them assistance for tuition. Students have to pay something. They have to get skin in the game, but their objective is to get them a job training to get the job, they follow up when they get the job. Uh, it is what CalWORKs does, but they do it without any government assistance. Could be a good model. Could be an excellent model. Take a look at that, it's, and we need some jobs. Um, we need a jobs in this economy. We so. absolutely do, Yeah, and we need people trained uh, for jobs. So it trains people, gets them jobs. As I said, it's a welfare to work uh, model. Uh, uh, without any involvement by government. And on that, Assemblyman Roger Nilo, thank you very much for joining us. This has been Time Warner Cable's local edition, The Sacramento Report. I'm Jaime Garza. Have a very nice day, everybody. Thank you.